YouTube, I'm here to um, share with you guys a quick video. It's a haul video from Family Dollar. So I want to share with you guys um, some different things that you can pick up for your crafting um, that doesn't necessarily have to be in the crafting department. This is something I really love to do. Sometimes I shop in the kids' uh, toy section and look for cute things to add to my projects. I look at kids' hair uh, accessories, clothes, um, gift bags. I mean, I look at all kinds of things to get inspiration for my crafting and to look for something different and unique. So what I have today mostly are like uh, little girls' um, hair accessories that you can use. This stuff that I'm going to share with you it was really cheap too. That's another thing. Sometimes you can find some really cheap things and turn it into something really special um, in your projects. And not only that, um, I have two girls as well, so I can also use those for um, hair accessories. But here's the first thing I picked up. And this is a cute little bow. It has some pearl already in the center. And this was actually on a headband right here. And I can still use the headband and put something else on it if I want. But this is super cute and it can be added to packaging or a project, uh, you know, of anything you want to use it for. So I thought this was cute. I think this stuff was like under a dollar or, um, you know, no more than a dollar or so. So that's the first little thing I picked up and I just popped it off of that um, headband. Okay, the second thing I picked up were these little ponytail holders. Aren't those cute? And um, they have like little loopy things on them. I don't know what you call that, but I thought that would be cute to add as trim on a project. So let me show you. I'm going to just take this and cut it down the center on the back side here and show you how you can use it. So see? And then it's stretchy too. So you can add that. Let me see if I have some paper here. Here's some paper right here. You can just whip that right on, glue it down, and voila! Isn't that cute? And it's something cute and fun and already made up for you and just cute to add. So I got it in that color. Also got it in a, this is like a coral color. And then I got it in this color. So I thought those were, you know, were cute. All right, let's see. And I also got this package. And this has the pink, the red, and the white. And these are, are twisters. Okay. So I picked those up. And then the next thing I picked up now, isn't this cute, you guys? And I thought that would be really cute on a Halloween project. I, it just attracted me. And this actually, I cut this off of these little headbands. Yeah, head wraps. And it was only a dollar twenty, and my oldest daughter can still use these as head wraps. But I popped off that cute um, flower that was on one of them, and I thought that would be cute to add to a project. You can put a really cute center, and um, you know, voila, got a flower already made up. So the next thing I picked up, y'all, y'all are gonna love these. These are some more hair clips. See how sparkly they are? They are really, really cute. And all you have to do is just pop that off of the hair clip and use it as a paper clip if you like. You can use it in the center of your flowers or you can just use the heart period on a project as an embellishment. And they pop off really easy. Um, I'm going to include the link to a pocket letter I created for Sue Ann Thomason. And I actually, I had this in purple and I actually made a paper clip out of it and it turned out really, really cute. So I'll include a link um, to that video in the description box so you guys can see how it looks as a, a paper clip. 
So I picked those up. And then the next thing I picked up were these metal butterflies. And you can just pop that off of the um, hair clip and use it as an embellishment. Or you can use the hair clip period um, on a project. So I picked those up. And here's one that I popped off, but the rhinestones came out of it. But you can always glue them back in. Okay, the another thing I picked up were these super cute headbands. And they were really cheap. And I plan on just popping these flowers off and use them in a project. Okay, I picked up a purple one. And they had this one. So you see the flowers already made up. And, you know, it make things quick and easy. And so another thing I like to do, I like to look at note cards and uh, things like that to see how I can use them in my projects. And what I plan on, this was only a dollar, as you can see. I'm going to die cut the hearts and use them on my projects. And there are um, six in here. So, you know, I can use, I have a heart die, and it's already have that foil on it that says thank you. And I'm going to die cut, and here's some more cute little hearts. And there's one with the cute um, gold polka dot. You know, something really cute and fun and quick and easy um, to add to your projects. And, um, yeah, so that's what I picked up. So when you go out um, shopping, browse by the toy section, the stationery, the hair accessories, you will be amazed of some of the things that you guys can find um, to add to your projects. Also in that video, I told you about these that I made a paper clip. I also used some paper for that pocket letter that I created. The paper actually came from um, a gift bag. And, um, you know, that's another thing you can do for other paper options is look at gift bags, cards um, in the stationery section. Um, you know, just look for some different unique things um, that you can add. And that paper that I used was absolutely gorgeous. I used it on some of the embellishments um, on that pocket letter. So you guys, when you're out shopping, um, take a browse around in some of the different areas um, when you go to Family Dollar or uh, you know, those kind of stores, even Walmart, and just kind of browse those different sections and see what you can find that's unique and different that you can add to your projects. That's all I have for you guys today. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!